What is y'all your YouTuber and your social media and media platform artist and the host of the YouTube channel Dr. Dude? I'm your host, Dr. Dude. Today's video, I want to go to do a series video about two fan, two video games on uh, a uh, two most iconic video games that were made by Ubisoft, alright? And how their connection that how they're connected between each other from different video game story are in the same universe, alright? I'm gonna do a theory between two iconic Ubisoft games, Final Fantasy and Assassin's Creed, alright y'all? And what is their connection and their story behind each other plot and their connection and how their origin began, all that stuff, alright? And also, before we get continue this story, please subscribe to my channel, alright y'all? We are at 3,342 subs on this YouTube channel. We are doing well. We are continuing to grow this channel big and strong and other social media platforms. Alright y'all? Be sure to subscribe and make this channel even better and grow longer and better and stronger. Alright y'all? So, let's get to the story. The main reason how Assassin's Creed and Final Fantasy were connected when both when Assassin's Creed Origins came out back in 2017, 2018 ish when Bayek, the first one of the first assassin that created the Brotherhood of the Assassin, opened a um a, opened a temple that was found under a pyramid, found in prison character that was from Final Fantasy. His name was Adrian Izuna. He was in they he found that and we realized he was in prison on the planet with Bayek which is what in modern day Egypt take place in 43 BC. One of the most oddest things about that is how is this character that was in the Final Fantasy what on one what's in prison why he imprisoned on the planet Earth, which we are wondering about that. That's one of the questions that I did not I want to know how and why. I don't I try to find that out on Google and YouTube. None of them ever talk about it. That is so weird. Am I right? And also, how is both of these games are in the same universe? To tell you the truth, I made a lot of theories about that. I've been trying to figure out this. I've been working on this thing for like three or four years, trying to figure out the connection between the planet known as Eos, which takes place in Final Fantasy. And our planets take in all of the planet Earth that take place in the Side Queen universe. Well, let's get to the story about that. First off, how I mean, how was Adrian alive when he was killed by the main character of that Final Fantasy game, known as uh, Lucia, King Crown Prince of Lucia, Lucius. Sorry, all right. He, it was. In the story, in the Final Fantasy story, we see him defeat Adrian and kill, it, destroy him and his spirit, once and for all, and become crown king of king of the Lucius and on the planet Eos, with it like Earth, like planet like ours. And one of the weird thing about that is how would how would Adrian's spirit be come came back from the great from being destroyed? First of all. And how he recovered his body and revived, and how he was in Earth. How was he was on Earth? Well, the truth is, I believe that Adrian knew he might lose a battle against the Crown Prince in Final Fantasy, Lucius, and he knew that he will be killed and his spirit will be destroyed by him. But which he, I believe, he had a backup plan when it came, when it if it ever happened to him. I believe that he had somebody work with him, know how to bring back the person's spirit and revive him from the dead, which I believe that he it wanted his sportness in the game, in the Final Fantasy game, which no one unknown to us. Now I'm trying for the fact that both the king of the king of Lucius believe he, he believed that Adrian will come back from the dead and his spirit will be revived as well. And to know for that, he said, I believe he sends his power, his magic, still around being revived, but it wasn't on his planet at all. In fact, I believe it took place 
it took place a thousand years ago, like two or three thousand years ago. Anyway, I believe it was more than that, like thousands of years ago, I believe. I believe that, that the eels and the planet that run by a different uh, race, the issues, had this connection with each other, even though they were like thousand years away from each other. And I had the theory that they both had this history with each other. Once, I believe they had a history together between each other. Like one side is you magic and and teleportation and all this, anything that you do with sorcery and stuff. While you had Isus had the ability to use science and technology, which is kind of more advanced than kind of more advanced than the people who live on that planet, the eels. What I would, I would call the people people in the Final Fantasy, the eels and the Isus. And they both, I believe they both have this, um, this, like this, aligning with each other, but, however, like, even though they had some sort of history together, I believe they have, and have this, like, you know, like, dispute between who is better and who is not better, which one is greater, science or magic, with both sides, use different way to con contact each other and also make some like negotiations and stuff and I believe that Adrian subordinate managed man to teleport herself use teleportation magic to teleport herself to another planet that was what ruled over by the issue during that time like 20, 10 20,000 years before the um by it opened the open the prison with Adrian went in my theory is that that King of the Lu King, I mean the King of Lucia, believed that he is now for it being revived right now, and I believe that that he and his men had to go check that out. But first, he had to make contact with Isu to let him come on their planet, which I believe he did. Get, managed to get access to the planet that kind of like their planet as well, and so I believe that Isu and Eos collaborate with each other to figure out the best game where or not Adrian is being revived by his loyal men and sorcerers of reviving him which they technically found out they did manage to revive him revive Adrian from the dead and recover his spirit so revive he managed to be revived but however thanks to the uh, eels and the issues alliance Collision. They managed to fall off against Adrian soldiers. I think they were like met casualty on on the King of Lucius and the Isu men as well. But eventually, they managed to defeat the a Adrian sorcerers and his subordinates and managed to capture Adrian. Instead of killing Adrian and taking him back to the planet, he, back to their home world. They decided to have the issue to build a prison where he could detain Adrian, prevent him from using his magic or his powers at all. That would result in him be imprisoned alive and never been recovered from, never returned to his world. Which I believe that King, Le King Lucia, and I believe it would be like Satter made the agreement to make sure he would remain in the prison cell, remain in his prison. As long as nobody ever mess with it, that is till 10, 10, 000, 10, 12,000 years later, we see Bayek opening the prison where Adri Adrian was in, releasing him. But in for for that, Adrian had given him the pop, the map, the weapons that which his people used on his planet, which Bayek never seen or saw before, or even could no human. In the in the on our planet, or the assassin ever held artifact that were not easy, which consider by it the first and only assassin to ever wield weapons that were not from this world. Which is amazing, considering the fact that I believe that eels, and when it comes to the eels, how they are still knowing what the assassin are, and I see them in the DLC in the Final Fantasy story. They had this, um, they had this festival, which I believe 
they to honor the assassins for what they are they trying to accomplish so even though th that the first assassin have released Adrian for some for for any reason they didn't know that the assassin released him but however I believe that the e the people in eels are watching the assassin and Templar having a war with each other but they cannot be involved of their conflict because it turned out that the people on that planet won't we have realized that the people used to live there, the first civilization in the East, were all wiped out by the solar flare, which wiped out the whole entire civilization. And thus, the age of human has finally took over the whole planet and starting to build civilization. Which I believe that the EU will not will not intervene into in human progress or development in their world. Because if they do, they they will be very very confusing especially with the Templar imagine the Templars try to harness the power of the magic that the people in Final Fantasy were using and it could be a hard to use that kind of weapon like that only people like Bayek can handle something like that which I believe he too I wish it considered possible that nobody nobody in Final Fantasy in the Sad Creed universe doesn't know about it know about their other planet that it liked them but with magic and stuff so this you there so this is a theory and the connection between Assassin's Creed and Final Fantasy have it pretty I'm pretty much amazed how Ubisoft managed to make something that is so good make the both out both Assassin's Creed and Final Fantasy universe into one universe where both sides continue to fight for justice, freedom, against those who want to hurt innocent lives. What I'm kind of amazed how this managed, how they managed to do something like that. And although there's an image where the Lucius, well, for now I'll call him, fought Adrian, which I consider the fact that he fought on, fought, they fought in Egypt during the Isu era. All right, if you don't believe me, there's a picture of, there's a wall of them battling out on there, okay? I recommend you go check that out on Saturday Origin. Well guys, this is the, we, this is the video for the, why Saturday and Final Fantasy are connected, are in the same universe, alright? I hope y'all guys like this channel, alright? Subscribe to the channel, hit notification down below, and I'll see you guys next time right here. Peace out, y'all.